you're a vile one, Mr. Grinch. You have termites in your smile. You have all the tender sweetness of a seasick crocodile, Mr. Grinch. Given the choice between the two of you, I'd take the, um, seasick crocodile. Mr. Grinch, you're the king of sinful sots. You're a heart so dead, tomato splotched with moldy purple spots, Mr. Grinch. You're a three-decker sauerkraut and toadstool sandwich with arsenic sauce. Slug to the icebox, he took the Who's feast. He took the Who pudding, he took the roast beast. He cleaned out the icebox as quick as a flash. Why, that Grinch even took the last can of Who hash. Then he stuffed all the food up the chimney with glee. Now, grinned the Grinch, I will stuff up the tree. As the Grinch took the tree, as he started to shove, he, he heard a small sound like the coo of a dove. He turned around fast and he saw a small who, little Cindy Lou who, who was no more than two. She stared at the Grinch and said, Santa Claus, why? Why are you taking our Christmas tree? Why? But you know, that old Grinch was so smart and so slick, he thought up a lie and he thought it up quick. Hi, my sweet little tot, the fake Santa Claus lied. There's a light on this tree that, that won't light on one side. So I'm taking it home to my workshop, my dear. I'll fix it up there, then I'll bring it back here. And his fib fooled the child. Then he patted her head and he got her a drink and he sent her to bed. And when Cindy Lou Who was in bed with her cup, he crept to the chimney and stuffed the tree up. Then he went up the chimney himself, the old liar, and the last thing he took was the log for their fire. On their walls he left nothing but hooks and some wire. And the one speck of food that he left in the house was a crumb that was even too small for a mouse. Then he did the same thing to the other Who's houses, leaving crumbs much too small for the other Who's mouses. You nauseate me, Mr. Grinch. With a nauseous super nos. You're a crooked jerky chucky and you drive a crooked hoss, Mr. Grinch. Your soul is an appalling dump heap, overflowing with the most disgraceful assortment of rubbish imaginable, mangled up in tangled up knots. Foul one, Mr. Grinch. You're a nasty, wasty skunk. Your heart is full of unwashed socks. Your soul is full of gunk, Mr. Grinch. 
The three words that best describe you are as follows, and I quote, Stink, stank, stunk, 